Hey, it's Doug with the Mahoney Mine. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We have a gold and silver mine, and we had an assay come back that showed the silver content was a little bit over 500 ounces per ton, which is mind-blowing and kind of a oh-duh thing. We're near Virginia City, Nevada, one of the greatest silver strikes the nation's ever seen. So today we're going to go silver hunting. And what we're doing as far as silver hunting is uh, we brought back some ore that may have some high-grade silver in it. And we're going to see if we can get the silver out of it. We're going to crush it down. We're going to put it in an uh, acid mix, see if we can precipitate the silver into it. And then get the silver back out of the nitric acid solution. And maybe smelt some up and see what we can do. Now... The first trick is identifying what silver looks like as raw ore. You know, is this silver? Is this silver? Does this look like silver? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to play with this rock right here. It's kind of an interesting matrix. Uh, silver is supposed to be kind of a dark bluish green. And this is a rock that we have inside some of our material there at the mine that just looks a little bit different. Um, these examples here, this one here, and this one here, here's some examples that are out of a museum near Virginia City. And silver is kind of elusive. Depending on where it is, is what it's going to look like. Some of it looks very metallic. Some of it almost um, looks like the tip of a pencil where it's dark and shiny. Some of it has some odd color to it. So without knowing your region, you're not really going to know what the ore looks like. You kind of have to have an example out of different areas. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take this and let's crush it down. And let's put it in an acid bath. And let's see what the heck we can get out of it. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the bucket. Look at that absolute powder. That is the finest, just sugar sand powder. So that's ground up pretty good. Let's go ahead and fix this up some acid. We're gonna put this in a solution of nitric acid and uh, distilled water, one to one, and uh, heat it up a little bit and see if we get a reaction. Okay, we've got our ore crushed up. Distilled water, nitric acid, and a container. So we're going to double boiler this, get out a hot plate, and uh, take and get a pan of water, and we'll put it in there and heat it up. And let's see what's going to happen. Hell, I've never done this, so let's take a look. All right, well, we've gone ahead and added a little bit of ore in there, and the rest is going to be acid and water. So we're using nitric acid and distilled water and it's very important use distilled water you can't use tap water you can't use water with any other chemicals in it it's got to be distilled where it's gone through an evaporation process and been recondensed very important also you've got to have your PPE you're using acid here you don't need to get it on you in you whatever All right, so we've got a measuring cup. We're going to start with eight ounces of each of water. Looks like it's right 
it at eight ounces. And yeah, maybe a sploosh more. All right, we're just over eight ounces, so we'll add the water. So that will have no chemical properties whatsoever on it. So we're going to stir up the dirt, get it good and wet. Sure that all that ore that we crushed is perfectly saturated. Make a good slurry out of it. It's important to note I've got the wind coming from my back. Any fumes are going to go that way. You have to be in a well ventilated area and preferably outside. Don't do this in your house. Don't do this in your kitchen. Don't do this around your kids. So let's do eight ounces. Right at of nitric acid. We're gonna go slow. Foaming up a little bit. Good. Looks like just about right. That's kind of what we're looking for there. Now we're going to stir up the slurry again. Look at that. Look at it overflowing. This is why you got to be so careful. already creating a gas. Look at all the bubbles coming out of there. Give it a second to calm down. And notice it's turning a color. It's turning almost a brownish orange there. I'm beginning to be able to smell the nitric acid. It's smelling a little bit like rotten eggs. So we're going to get that stirred up, let it settle down a little bit. Hot plate, pan of water, nitric acid solution, and let's do some heat. There we go, we're going to put her on medium, let all that heat up a little bit, and uh, we'll see what we get dissolving in that solution. Okay, this thing's starting to warm up a little bit. Water's starting to steam and look we're starting to get a reaction I have no clue what that means or what it's doing but we starting to bubble a little witch's brew thing happening there Look at that thing. What is it doing? Boy, we got something going on in there. All right, looks like things have mostly simmered down. We've had it in there a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, it's not having near the reaction that it was in the beginning. So let's turn it off, cool it down, and we're going to run it through some coffee filters, strain it all out, and then for the fun part, let's go ahead and throw in a copper pipe and see if anything comes out of it. Okay, we've disseminated it down. That's all that we got left. Important safety tip, folks. If you're using nitric acid, wear gloves. And I'll show you. I got a hole in my glove. Look at that. It's just as yellow as that is. So um, really be careful. Uh, double glove up. The PPE is so important. And, you know, I rinse it with water instantly. But that's going to be a fluorescent yellow thumbnail for a little while. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and put the copper tube in. 
All right, we're all set. Here we go. Let's see, does any silver precipitate off of the copper? Wow, that got clean. Clean the copper right up. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God. It's doing something. Okay, so I let this run for about 24 hours and uh, took out the copper tube. There was no reaction going on whatsoever. And look down here in the bottom. You can see we've actually gotten something out of it. So did we do the right thing? Did we get enough? I have no clue what we're doing here. We're just playing around. So next thing is we're gonna go ahead and put a shop towel over that jar and uh, let's go ahead and get the hard precipitates out of it. And then we're going to smelt those down this morning and see what we end up with. Maybe we end up with a nice little button. I've got a couple of cupels left, so let's cupel this sucker. All right, let's see what we can do here. So everything's all rinsed out. We rinse our little packet with water and we're ready to go throw it in the smelter and cupel it down. So let's go take a look at what's left. So here's our little cupel packet. Just the shop rag with all the leftovers that are in it. And we'll see if there's anything. We don't know, it could have just been dirt that got past the filter. Maybe we did disseminate a little bit of silver, who knows. So let's go ahead and fire up the smelter here. And let's get her hot.
Look at that little bead right there. So there was something to the process. We'll pick it out. We'll weigh it. We'll look at it. And there's a little something something there. All right, not bad for not knowing what we're doing. And my first real shot at this. Looks like there's one, two, three, four little beads I can pick out of there. Awesome. That's what we were looking for. Okay, so did it work? I don't know. I got mixed feelings. Um, we proved that we got something out of it, but I expected maybe a little bit more and something that we could do something with. So uh, we'll just keep at it and uh, hope everybody has heavy pants and thanks for watching.